Hello. I hope you have a good day today. I hope you have a good evening and a good night. Truly, God is good to us all. I'm so glad to let that He let us live to see another day. Thank and thank God for the Mother's Day. And I hope and pray everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day. Blessings and cheerful and family around and giving all the mothers thank you for being there with you and helping you and carry you along the way when you couldn't help yourself. And it's so wonderful to have good memories as coming up as a child with your mother and all the things that you did together. Hey Amen. I hope you had a peaceful Mother's Day and a blessed Mother's Day and a happy Mother's Day in the name of Jesus. I'm going to say a short word of prayer. Praise God. And we'll be going to the scripture. I'm not going to hold you long. Just a little word, short word of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, though. Now to him that is that is a power to establish you according to his gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is good. He's a blessing to all of us, whether we, whether we believe it or not, but he is. He's our blessed God. He's our merciful God. He's our caring God. He's our, just our everything. Praise God, hallelujah. He'll be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your family, or your best, best friend. Wherever you want him to, to put him in the place of, he, he can fit it and more, praise the Lord. I want him to be all of it to me, praise God. I want him to be to my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my best, best friend, my everything. And knowing that he is my Savior, Jesus Christ, that came into this world to die for the whole world, praise God. I'm just so glad about it. God is good. He is wonderful. And I pray God touch and bless and have mercy on you all. Those that had uh, a, not a good time through Mother's Day, but I hope, God, your next one will be good. And if not, I pray God comfort your heart and your mind and help you to get through whatever you have to get through, praise God, because it is a lot going on in this world. And whenever you can find peace that comes from God, take it, praise God, because you're the only one that can give us peace and happiness. So I thank the Lord for watching over everybody keeping them from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. And those that was in harm, seen un and unseen danger, that God will help them and deliver them for whatever they had to go through because it could be any of us, and we don't know when it's going to be our day. So we have sympathy for those that had didn't have a good Mother's Day. And we pray God will bless you in a mighty way, in a special way, some other kind of way to comfort your heart and keep you and your families. And if you don't have a family, Praise God that you're separated from him in some kind of way that God would bless you in a mighty way and a special way because God loves you. He truly loves you. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit cares about the whole world. Whether we save or not, he cares about us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Continue to give them strength, health. Praise the Lord. Whatever they need, Lord, please supply it. Lord, I pray and ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank God for his gospel. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, letting us know why He came into this world and the purpose that He came into this world to save us from our sins. Praise God, because Adam and Eve, as I said before in other videos, didn't listen to what God had told them. They listened to the devil saying, Oh, God is jealous. He know that you know good from evil. Praise the Lord. It's nothing wrong with that as long as you're being led by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. But uh, God had told them, Do not eat off that tree that was open your eyes to different kinds of things and God didn't want them to see it yet praise God amen and so they listened to Satan and if they failed the test listen to Satan and not to God amen and God and then Satan put uh even their heart against God our creator praise the Lord like we have even today people don't believe I don't know where they think they come from praise God because who made our mother and our father you can't say you come from your mother and your father because who made them and you just go on 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 back 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 down generation it, it always been human beings being uh created through human beings by the power of God amen so we'll give all, all honor and praises to God because truly he is a good God Praise the Lord. He loves us and he cares about us. But don't, I wish I could, I know, I, I'm, I feel because I know there's so many doubters that don't believe in God. And, and I don't know how can you not. But I one time, I think about all my life, I didn't know. He, but I was really ignorant. I wasn't taught about God. I didn't hear about God until God started dealing with my heart at a young age. And I thank him that he, not on my mother's heart, to let me go around somebody that was preaching 
something about God so I could learn the way, praise the Lord. But it didn't, didn't happen all at one time. I, it took a while, praise God. And I just, just kept, he, I just said God just kept reaching out to me and helping me because he knew I didn't know no better. Praise the Lord. I just thought that's the way you live. That's the way you're supposed to be. But I thank God I know better now through the Holy Spirit. And being a redeemer of my sins, I want to share it with somebody else about God, telling him that God can deliver you from anything if you trust him and believe in him from your heart, not from your lips. Praise the Lord. Because when we say we believe in God, we're going to go through tests. And you're going to see, you're going to keep the faith and still say, oh, no, for God I live, for God I die. I believe God can do it. Can't nobody do it but God. And that have to, that, they have to come from your heart. We see a lot from our lips, but when we go through our tests, we fail. So it's got to come from our heart. I always say, Lord, whatever you, I ask the Lord to do for me or whatever he do for me, I say, Lord, please let it come from my heart and not from my lips. Praise God. So we're going to be at Romans Praise God. Romans, the 10th chapter, just a couple of verses, and, uh, and the chapter going to be at the 9th. It says Romans 10, chapter 10, the 9th to the 12th verse, the 9th to the 12th verse, Romans 10, chapter, well, chapter 10, Romans, starting at the 9th verse, and we'll stop at the 12th verse, praise God, amen. And this is the uh, King James Virgin. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, praise God. He'll tell us at the, at the um, I'm going to go up a little further at the 10th verse. Praise the Lord. Say, I'm going to go up a little bit more further. I, I went down too far. I'm going up some more. But I know I'm going to start at the 8th verse. But what it said is, is the word is not the, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that, that is the word of faith. The word of faith, the word of faith is that you believe without sin. We believe in God and what he did through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by faith. Praise the Lord. And we receive the Holy Spirit by faith when we repented and say, believe that we were son and we was doing wrong when Jesus did come in this world and die for our sins. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said again that, that the word of faith, which we preach, that means the ones, the redeemers that have the word of God in their heart. Now they're preaching and teaching and living their life themselves and telling others about God so they can be ready when Jesus comes back for that church or the else come for us one by one. We got to be ready either way. Praise the Lord. Made up our mind whom we're going to serve, who we're going to believe in. Praise God. Jesus will never fail us. He will never give us up. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. If you trust him from your heart, he will help you. And then, even then, God have mercy upon us. God have mercy upon me for I knew him. Praise the Lord. Now I'm going on down to the ninth verse. That is, if that that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, Thou shall be saved. That's not hard. You ain't got to pay a whole lot. No, you know, they can say a whole lot of money. You ain't got to pay nothing. All you got to do is just believe. Pray for yourself first before you tell somebody else about believing. You start out with God yourself, and then you can tell the truth about what you're going through in your experience, your experience with God, not just what you read in the Bible. Yeah, you read it in the Bible, draw none to God, and he'll draw none to you, but it's got to be applied to our life before we go telling somebody else about God. I can tell, say something about God because I know what I was and I know what God had made me today. Praise the Lord. I know I didn't do it. My mother didn't do it. My father didn't do it. Didn't nobody do it but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he blessed my family. Praise the Lord. And he blessed my mother and father when they turned to him and got saved. I thank God that their soul and spirit is in heaven now. Praise the Lord. Praying, praying for everybody around the throne of God that we'll Come to our senses before it's too late. We see the things going on in this world. We know this world not going to last for so long. Let's get right with God and do it now. Because one day you're going to thirst for the word of God. You're going to want somebody to tell you about God. And it's going to be too late. The church will be gone. The church will be gone with Jesus in, in that new heaven and new earth. You won't be able to get the, that food, of the word of God. We call the word of God is considered as food. We got to have it. We got to have it for our soul. We got to have Jesus in our soul. We got to have the Holy Spirit in our soul. And the word of God is food. It's got to be in our soul and spirit and in our mind too. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. We got to do what the Lord said. We have to do it by faith. And we get that faith by reading the word of God. You're not going to see the Lord walking around down here, going to nobody's house, but you'll see his people. Amen. In the buildings, churches. And, and if they pass you, they might ask, they tell you about God, but they don't force you. If you don't want to hear, we, we leave you alone. Pray, well, but we pray for you and we still love you. Praise the Lord. Because we look back over our own life. No, we didn't always believe. It took us some longer than others to believe, praise God. Some of them was only bad affliction before they started believing in God, and God healed them, put them back out on, put them back on their feet, and live again. And they start living for the Lord and telling the people about God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm gonna go down here now to to the tenth verse. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Eleventh verse. For the Scripture said, "Is whom." Who, whosoever, whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. We be, we're not ashamed of the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is our gospel that he gave us about himself. Just like if your mother would leave, write a letter to you, that's your letter. He read it to you, so you say, it's my letter that my mother gave me. And we can say the word of God is our gospel because Jesus gave it to us so we can tell others about him. Praise God. Amen. So I hope this will be a help to you in life because God loves you. Praise the Lord. Try God. If you don't, don't already have him in your heart, praise the Lord. Seek him. And he said, if you seek, you shall find. He's looking at you. He's waiting on you. The door is open. Go in now while the door is open. Because one day the door will be shut. And be the, be, uh, when I say be shut, close. Praise the Lord. You won't be able to get in. So do it now while it's open. And Jesus is asking you to come. Whomsoever will come. But what he said, I'm going to say this in closing. All he asked you to do. Believe in your heart that he came into this world to die for our sins. Believe in your heart that you was a sinner. The even thing that we do before we get saved. No, it's not right. We, we know it's not right. We accept it, but we know it's not right. And we don't, we helpless. We don't know how to stop it. It's getting worse to the better. So I think we better go and keep on going with God and praying for the world and for our family. And because and, the world is going to get worse. It's not going to get better. Heaven is not going to be down here on earth, people. This is this this earth is going. If you listen to scientists and they'll tell you things is coming up, they don't even know. They experience are trying to find out what it is. So put your hope in God and trust God by faith. And if you have not, I hope one day that you do before it's too late. I love you with the love of God in my heart. And I hope you have a blessed day, each and every one, saved and unsaved. Praise God. We ain't all been saved all our life. We talking now because we saved and we know the difference. Amen. One day somebody gonna be Hear this word from not don't have to be for me for some other believer and get on get on, and get their self straight with God and be out there talking about the Lord reading the scriptures or teaching or preaching in the church or how God lead them what ministry that He will give them to do and they'll tell you they have been redeemed from their sin and they'll tell you the story of where they was and where they at now because of having faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, Amen. God is good. God is good. God is good.